Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. Now, I've been testing out Bluetooth speakers on this channel for a while now, and this is probably one of my favourite speakers so far. It's by Powerad, and it's called the DG. It plays loud, the bass is nice, there's a review of it someplace on this channel if you want to try to find it. And I also have this one here too. This is by Tronsmart, and this is the T6 Plus Upgraded Edition. This one, it sort of vibrates a desk and sort of makes it sound like the bass is a little louder. And if you watched the previous video, I gave you a tip on how to improve your bass recordings if you're recording bass from a speaker. So this kind of works in a similar manner. But ever since making these videos, I've had people telling me to get a JBL speaker, which is exactly what I've gone and done. Which brings me to this and her. Now, I did try to count the amount of comments that I had telling me to get a JBL speaker and test it out, but I sort of lost count at around, I think it was 2.5 million. Anyway, what I'll do now is I'll have a look and see what it says on the box. Might as well stick with routine because this is basically what I usually do. 15 hours of play time, IPX7 waterproof, USB charge out, handy, just in case you want to charge something. JBL Connect Plus. With that, what you can do is connect other JBL speakers together. You're basically just linking them and then you can play the same music. So if you've got friends that have JBL speakers, you can all meet up together and be extra loud. Nothing else on the box. Let's just open this up. Slice, slice. And that's a nice strong box. That sounded wrong. And there we have the speaker. Now I've got big hands, but it looks as though this is gonna need two. And here we have it. This thing is big. Uh, some people say it's heavy. It's not that heavy, but I mean, it can slip out of my hands, especially with that stuff on it. Right, here we are. That's a little better. And inside the box, we also have this, which is a strap just in case you want to carry it around because not everybody has BFG hands like me. And there's also these two at the bottom. That's sticky. So we have this, which I'll have a look at. And we also have the charger. And this one is stuck. And then on this side, we have the plugs. We've got two types, UK and something else. Now, I've just been looking to see if it says anything about LFM in this. Low frequency mode, which is what people talk about in videos and in comments. But I can't find anything about it, which leads me to believe it's not actually a thing. And judging by the spec on the speaker itself, the speaker isn't even meant for low frequencies. As you can see, the frequency response right there is 55 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which makes sense. Because, I mean, if you take a look at the speaker itself, how would you expect anything even under 40 hertz to come out of this? All right, so what I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a charge and uh, let's turn it around. There's a the thing that we pull on and out that comes. Plug this into there and there we have it charging. All right, so this is now completely charged. What I'll do now is I'll put this over on the side of my room and we'll see how it sounds bass wise. Now with this being bigger, it's gonna have better bass and I think it's gonna get a little louder as well. But it's still worth comparing this to the other two speakers that I have and maybe a third one, simply because this costs quite a bit in comparison. Okay, so right here we have this and on top of it, I'm gonna be placing the JBL. Okay, so here we have the speaker. Reaching over the camera to turn this on, long arms come in handy. Okay, well I like the startup sound. On some Bluetooth speakers that I've tested, the on and off sound can be kind of loud. Okay, so this speaker is going to be tested from two listening positions. Currently, the sound is being recorded from around two feet in front of the mic. Yeah, I'd say about two feet. And then we're going to move to around nine feet back. All right, so here we have the first track. I've used this with other Bluetooth speakers in the past, so you can listen to those and compare if you want.
Redemption, devil's hide behind redemption. August is a one way gate to hell. I want to take consumption. Get faster to waste stocks in. Hear the children sing aloud. It's music till the wick burns out. Okay, so sound quality wise, decent. It's obviously been tuned very well. Treble, nice, nice and clear. Bass, good. I was expecting it to get a little lower, not gonna lie. But what I'll do now is I'll test out some low frequencies and we'll see how low it can actually get. Okay, so let's start off with 70 Hertz. Sixty. Fifty-five. Fifty. Forty-five. Forty. 36. Uh, that's where it drops off. 32. Low frequency mode. Enabled. 32 hertz still. All right, there is a bit of sound coming from it. 27 hertz. Now, you know what? There was sound coming from it, but it wasn't bass. Normal mode. Okay, so that's going to be all for our unboxing and demo for now. If you want me to do anything else with this, let me know. And if you're thinking of getting one of these, remember this. There is no such thing as LFM mode. JBL don't even have an LFM mode on their speakers. And just in case you think I'm joking or whatever, we've got this right here. So this guy said he was trying low frequency mode on his Extreme 2. And she says, there is no low frequency mode for our speakers. Pressing and holding a series of buttons can damage the unit. <laughs> anyway, this has been fun. I'll catch you in the next one.